Queensborough Community College did, a year ago, launch the completion day event. And we did such a successful and outstanding job, the state of New York and the City University of New York decided they ought to follow our lead. So this year, the entire state, City University, State University of New York colleges are all hosting completion day events. So I think we ought to, everyone here ought to give Queensborough a round of applause for a job well done. And at this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Emily Tai, who has really been, along with Dr. Paris Savonis, they've been the leaders in uh, advocating for this event, of course, through PTK. And Dr. Tai will give us a little introduction and certainly will then begin the program. Thank you, Dr. Tai. Thank you, Vice President Hartigan, and welcome to everybody. I'm so glad to see so many people here. Um, I want you to know that when we started the college completion event last year, I wrote to Phi Theta Kappa Central, which had been working with the College Completion Initiative across the country to promote these events where young people pledge to complete their associate's degree. You'll be hearing from our president in just a few moments about why that's a wonderful idea, but I just want to share that our event last year was so influential because one of the things I remember Jennifer Stanford from Phi Theta Kappa writing to me about was that we were the only college that had sponsored a community college completion event and invited our alumni back to share their experiences and their successes with students who were currently enrolled. So I want you to know that you are participating in an event that has really been a trailblazer for this initiative, and it's all because Queensboro Community College rocks. I would now like to introduce the president. Thank you, Dr. Tai, thank you. The degree completion event has been something that Dr. Tai and Dr. Sabarnos through Phi Theta Kappa has certainly encouraged. And, and of course, they work with students who have um, really, really, really high academic averages. But completion day for all of us is important. Whether you have a 4.0 or a 2.0, it's really important to finish an associate's degree. Why? For lots of reasons. First of all, this is an amazing institution. You have the best faculty in the country. You have the best, yeah, absolutely. You have the best support staff in student affairs and instructional supports and all the things that make us a great college. So we're a pretty special place and people love being here. But we also love to see you go and go on. And whether it's to work or to university, which is where most of our students go, a degree means you have the edge. It's called the edge for success for a reason. Because people with associate degrees will earn more money than people who don't have them. They will be given more favorable consideration when they go on to a senior college inside City University of New York or the private schools, as some of our alums can tell you, they won great scholarships, academic scholarships, because they held an associate degree. Now, everybody knows that you're going to need a degree sooner or later. And in fact, the projection is that 60% of the jobs essentially require at least an associate degree. So. Your interest in studying a variety of programs, either transfer programs or career programs, is a very, very noble endeavor. It's important for you as individuals to be educated, but it's a very practical accomplishment as well, because you're going to go on and do great things in the world of work and at your next college to finish other degrees, your bachelor's, etc. You can see there's a, a running list here of just some of the people who graduated from Queensboro and what they've accomplished. And they've accomplished it because they've worked very hard, they stayed really focused, and they took advantage of the great mentorship of our faculty, of the great services that are free services to help you get through things. So I'm very pleased. I understand that we have a proclamation from the governor of the state of New York 
Yes, we have that. And we're going to frame it and we'll put it uh, in a very prominent location, probably maybe in this room, so people can see that Queensboro did lead the way to what's now a, a nationwide event, but in New York State, all the community colleges in the State University of New York, all the community colleges in the City University of New York are having celebrations just as this one to encourage students to pledge, promise, and commit to complete a degree. We're very proud that we were the ones who kind of led the way in many ways. And again, I have to thank Phi Theta Kappa and our wonderful advisors. I have to thank our Vice President of Student Affairs, our student government representatives. We have many of the exec board members here. There you go. Oh. Oh, they're on their way. I know. It's a big campus on, on Wednesday. It's hard to get there. I also want to thank the Department of Student Affairs, Vice President Ellen Hardigan, Ray, Mr. George Machida, who's worked on this. So many people have really wanted it and done it with great joy. And we will celebrate with you great joy when you graduate. I hope this June or maybe next June, but you're going to do it. And we're going to be right there to cheer you on. So I congratulate you. I congratulate you for taking this very seriously. And you couldn't have chosen a better school. And you're going to miss this when you go. But then you're going to come back to events like just like this one. And you can tell other people what it means to be a graduate of Queensboro Community College. So I'm going to turn the program back over to Vice President Hardigan. OK. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Cole. And I also want to remind everybody, just take a look. Just a few of our graduates, so impressive, such wonderful accomplishments. And I know many of the students in this room, we're looking forward to featuring you in the years ahead uh, as we continue the tradition of the completion day. And Dr. Savonos, it's so lovely to see your beautiful smile, how proud and how happy you are that this day is here. And again, I want to thank you and Dr. Tai. At this time, I would like to introduce a person who, of course, is one of our featured speakers and someone who is a dear friend of Queensborough Community College. Not only did she graduate in 1975, class of 75, but she's currently the president of the Queensborough Community College Alumni Association. And at this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Cheryl Levine. Thank you, Dr. Hardigan. What can I say about Queensboro? Well, I'm lucky I only have five minutes because I could be here for hours. Queensboro Community College is the beginning of the road to your future, and it will get you a future. Without having your associate degree, there is no future. Unfortunately, in 2012, it is reality. We need to earn a living, and by having a degree, especially from Queensboro, the other, last year I was at a practice commencement at a high school, and the kids were talking about what school they were going to, and one says, well, I'm going to uh, the University of uh, Buffalo, and another one said another. And the third person chirped up and said, oh, I got you all beat. I'm going to Queensboro. And you know what? She meant it. This is definitely, definitely the school of choice. It's your choice to be here, and it's your choice to finish here and get your degree. It is very, very impressive on a resume to show that you, A, have an associate degree, because it does list as a degree, and two, from Queensboro. This school has come a long way since 1975 when I graduated here. And I can't begin to tell you how proud I am to be the president of the Alumni Association, to come back to the school, and I guarantee you one thing. When you graduate from this school, you'll be coming back also. And we expect to see you here, and we expect to see your picture up there. Thank you. And it is now my pleasure to introduce Nina Hanna, class of 2010, uh, associate's degree in liberal arts and sciences. Nina, come on up. Thank you. Hi, everyone. So I didn't exactly plan on coming to Queensboro when I decided to go back to college. It was, uh, 
I was very successful without a college degree. I thought I had proved everybody wrong in saying, I don't need it, I can do it just fine on my own. I had my own home, my own business, everything was great. And then when the economy collapsed, I lost everything and had to return to school. Queensborough was the only school at that point that I could get a placement in because it was December of you know, the previous year and Queens College just basically told me, good luck, it's not happening. Um, coming to Queensboro, I felt, to be honest, a bit of a failure, because for a long time, community colleges had gotten a bad rap. They were kind of seen as the school that, you know, kids really couldn't cut it and went to. It changed my life. I did such an amazing job here that I was able to get a 70-something percent scholarship to NYU which is kind of impressive and amazing. It never would have happened. <laughs> it never would have happened without Queensboro, PTK, and Dr. Tai, who helped me every step of the way. Um, a couple of my classmates I've seen up here, and it's been pretty impressive. A couple of them are teachers. One of them is my classmate currently. And it's amazing just to, you think that you're never going to be able to you know, accomplish it, and then all of a sudden you know, you're graduating and you're part of the honor society and you're really making a difference in people's lives, and all of a sudden you're somewhere where you never thought that you would be. Um, friends of mine who thought that you know, going back to school was a good idea, but they kind of looked down at me like, eh, Queensboro, the best thing I ever did in my life. Um, it's such a great campus, it's such a great school. I actually miss it a lot. I mean, NYU is great and all, but it's very easy to get lost in a school of 50,000 students. Queensboro has that family feel, which is amazing. It can actually really change your life. Um, unfortunately, you know, like it's been said before, we live in a world where a college degree is absolutely necessary, and this is the first step. And once you get that degree and your name is called and you cross that stage and you get your diploma, nobody can take that away from you. And it's such an accomplishment and it leads to bigger and better things. So good luck to everybody. Thank you, Nina, and all the best to you as you continue with your studies. Our next speaker uh, just correction on our program, he's actually a graduate of the class of 2008, not 1998. That's okay. You're a graduate of Queensboro nonetheless, and we're delighted. Gentleman who also, in addition to having his degree from Queensboro, he's currently working here at the college, and he's actually leading the program that every single student in this room must know about. And if you don't know about it, Right now, you now know about it. Now you're going to hear a little bit more from Mr. Antonio Luna, who is leading the single stop program here at Queensboro Community College, and he's also a graduate of Queensboro. Tony, come on up. Thank you, Vice President Hardigan. And I also want to thank uh, Dr. Emily Tai and Francis McDonald for inviting me here today. I had to write because if I just talk, I might lose it and I only have five minutes, so bear with me. Um, as Vice President said, my name is Tony Luna. I'm the Project Director for Single Stop here at QCC. I am happy and honored to have the pleasure of speaking with you today about something that I hold near to my heart. I completed my associate's degree at Queensburg. And I don't mean to cry because I think it might come out, but it's very special for me. All of you made the right choice for attending here today. All of our presenters will tell you why it's important to complete your associate's degree. When I decided to return to college, I chose Queensboro. I never thought through hard work, dedication, and support from the faculty and staff that I will ever complete my associate's degree. In my family, I am the second person to receive my associates, in which, which, in which I majored in liberal arts. I automatically furthered my education and earned a bachelor's degree in secondary education and history at Queens College. Presently, I am taking courses for my master's degree in history, still at Queens College, which I'll be the first to accomplish in my family, and I owe it all to QCC. When friends and family ask where I got the inspiration and motivation from, I always say Queensboro. Queensboro has given me the direction I needed to continue my studies. When I finished and transferred to Queens College, they accepted my associate's, they accepted my associate's degree. 
I accomplished all my core requirements. I didn't have to worry about transferring my credits to Queen Col Queens College because I finished here at QCC. Also, Queensboro Community College prepared me to han handle the vigorous work that was assigned to me at Queens College by using all the support systems and resources that QCC has to offer. The tutoring center, the math lab, and professors that gave me their time to help me. But most importantly, the reason why I completed my degree here at QCC is because of the faculty and staff who work here every day. I could talk for hours about all the professors who were role models and who helped me achieve my goals. They have, made, they have the knowledge, experience, and dedication support that makes Queensborough Community College competitive in any market. QCC was there, for me to, was there to help me, and it will be there for, to help you. So when you. So when you leave this room today, always remember to ask yourself two questions. What do you want to accomplish? But most importantly, how do you get there? Establishing a foundation will guide you to a successful and fruitful life. Ask any faculty, staff, or administrator, and they will tell you their reasons why. But at the end, it's up to you to determine what you need to make that happen. For me, it was several professors and staff that mentored me. Professor McGill from the Speech and Communications Department, who gave me my first row here on campus. Professor Bells from the History Department, who I took many classes with, and that's why I want to become a history professor in the future. Professor Beal, who, who, who was also my academic advisor, who also told me and emphasized to finish your associate's degree and continue on to Queens College. And finally, Susan Curtis, the director of the Institute of Enrollment, who actually gave me my first opportunity as a college assistant. They all changed my life, believing in me that I was going to be successful. All of you in this room will feel the same way when you graduate from Queens, Queensboro. You have your own resources, why you, you have your own reasons why you made the right choice by completing your associate's degree. As a director of single stop, students have visited my office, and I say to them, finish at QCC and get your associate's degree. Hang that diploma on your wall. So after you graduate from Queensboro and continue your studies at your four-year college and you feel stressed and frustrated, your diploma from QCC will remind you that I can do this, that I will be successful. Hey, it's a beautiful campus, great programs, great faculty and staff, great administration, all here to establish a solid foundation so you can build your life. Thank you again for, for inviting me here to speak with you. Good luck to each and every one of you, and I hope to see all of you at graduation. Thank you, Tony, that was excellent. I'm gonna put the next uh, person actually on the spot for a second because uh, before I introduce our next speaker, I'm gonna ask another alumnus to come here, please, and introduce our next speaker for us. Mr. George Machida, would you please step up and say a few words since you are an alum, and you also arranged to have our next speaker join us, so you're on. You asked, here it is. <laughs> This is a surprise. And yes, I am an alum. I attended Queensboro from 1970 to 1972, which means none of you in this room were here, or even <laughs> thought of, except for the faculty and staff. I left Queensboro and I went on to SUNY New Paltz. And what helped me at SUNY New Paltz was what I learned here as far as registering and completing my own program and doing my own schedule. It helped me to, to complete my education in New Paltz and I took every single credit with me that I had taken here. I did not lose a single credit. And that helped me even further when I went on to graduate school back here on Long Island at CW Post. And I've been working at Queensboro since 1975. And I had the honor of working with a lot of the students that, are, that have spoken with you before. And I, had, I have had the honor of working with the next gentleman that's going to be up here was one of my college discovery students. He left here at Queensboro, and he will explain his life to you, but let me tell you, he's had a wonderful life, and why did he have it? Because he started here at Queensboro. His name is Jonathan Tovar. Thank you, George. You haven't lost your touch in all these years. 
Um, first, I want to thank uh, the faculty for asking me to come. I appreciate the invitation, especially through you, George. And just everybody here in the room, I'm very happy that you're here. I want to first take a moment to congratulate everybody for being here, for wanting to be a part of uh, this completion process. Um, I think it's very significant that everybody just takes a minute to really think about what this day means. And I commend you for being here and kind of really putting a step forward into this right direction. For me, Queensboro really was an opportunity to start, like George mentioned. For me, it started all here. I started here. The significance of this degree was really important to me to get started. Um, I came here 10 years ago. I graduated in May of 2002 with an associate's in business administration. And what I did was I had my own completion day moment where I myself decided that I needed to complete my degree. And early on, it wasn't easy. I had a hard time of getting adjusted from high school to the Queensboro work. But all in all, I was able to kind of put together a work ethic and a commitment within myself to finish the degree. And I encourage you to do the same thing because an associate's degree will open up so many opportunities for you from employment to senior colleges and everything in between, in addition to be able to earn more when you work. So it's going to give you a great starting point and a big edge compared to a lot of different people that necessarily won't have the opportunities that you have. It takes a lot of effort and work, and I think this is the perfect place for you. For me, I had the help of George, who the way I met him was I struggled. I um, even, you know, I don't have no shame in saying it. I'm, I was on probation here because I thought that working was more important than studying. You know, I was 18, 19 years old thinking that what I was doing was the right thing, but realizing that it was a short-term goal for a long-term failure. And through the help of George, you know, I was able to kind of have my own completion moment and realize that I can be better. I don't have to go this route. I was able to finish Queensborough with my associate's degree. And from there, I went on to go to Brooklyn College, where I finished my bachelor's in finance and management. And through the whole time, I always kept in touch with George and always was able to work with him and he gave me advice. After I did that, I went to NYU and I finished my MBA and also my degree in management of technology, a double master's program in 2011. So I was able to finish my degree from NYU, my degree from Brooklyn College, and also from Queensboro, but it all started here. Without the, without the faculty, without the resources, the help of everybody who's spoken before me and what they've been able to kind of take advantage, I wouldn't be able to be here in front and tell you my story of my time here and all the things that I've been able to do. And my completion, they happened 10 years ago in George's office where I told him, I'm gonna change things around, I'm gonna finish my degree here and use all the resources from fellow students, faculty, to help me get through the process. And that's exactly what I did. And it's important for everybody here in the room to understand that each, each and every one of you guys has an opportunity to do whatever you want, and Queensboro is going to be the one thing that you can use to your advantage, to give you the leverage, give you the opportunity to compete against people who don't have the same opportunity, to walk into a room and say, I went here, I learned from here, I have great experiences here, and I took my career and my education to the next level because it helps me get into a, a good college, a four-year degree, which subsequently can help me even get into a better graduate, graduate school. Queensboro is where it starts. The faculty, the help, the resources, the proximities. Prior speaker mentioned how it feels like home versus being in NYU, and I can attest it's a huge campus and you feel like you're more of a number versus a student. But here is the other way around. Continue to work hard on what you're doing. Use this completion day as an opportunity to really look back and reflect on where you are and how close you are to your goals. Everybody here before you finish and they were able to go on to do great things with their life and their career. And I'm here to tell you that it has started here for me, it started here for other people, and everybody else you see above you. There's hundreds of stories of people who have completed and done amazing things outside from the people in this room that you're hearing about. And they're everywhere, from every possible field, even people who give back like George who went here a while back, and he's still here helping students like me 10 years ago, and I'm sure a lot of people in this room today. I encourage you to use the resources that Queensboro has to offer and to understand that it only starts here and it can only go up. With that, a little bit about what I'm doing today just to give you some background as to how Queensborough helped me. After I finished my associates from Brooklyn College, I started working for a company called Thomson Reuters. 
and I work as a client specialist today under, under investment management. My job really revolves around working with a lot of Wall Street accounts, um, pretty much dealing with asset management companies and hedge funds, a lot of finance work, a lot of um, work in late hours, but when I do what I do now and I wake up and I look back at my day-to-day -day life, I think about the, the person who I was here. And when I got here earlier today to give you the speech, I realized that you know this place looks exactly like I left it with a few, it looks actually even better with some new buildings that I've noticed, but I look around and I see everybody here in the room and I see a lot of the same faces 10 years ago from people who were in my t around here when I was going to school. Queensboro did a lot for me. It helped me learn a lot about myself. The degree only helped me get into a better college. When I went for an interview early on, they asked me about my time here and I told them I learned a lot. I was able to apply my skills in business and finance at that time from what I learned here through my curriculum. It helped me understand where I was and versus how far I came when I started here when I was 18 years old. So my final thoughts are, completion day, be happy that you're here, understand that it's, it, it goes from here, it grows from here. It's not just something that you come here, you sign a paper, then you leave. That piece of paper and what it takes to get that done is gonna only help you in every possible goal that you have outside of Queensboro. But use the time here to create the foundation. It's gonna only help you tackle the next goal. And then when you get good at getting goals done, you realize that you're gonna to wanna to accomplish more and you're gonna to wanna to do more. And then you're gonna look back and realize that the people who told you what Queensboro did for them, like myself, would say, well, how do I, how do I get here? Well, it started with Queensboro. So thank you guys for your time. I appreciate um, your, your attendance. Um, thank you again. I look forward to seeing you guys in the reception. And I guess, um, thank you very much. Dr. Tai or Dr. Savonos, any words of wisdom, please? Please join me up here and uh, sure there are a few words you'd like to share. Dr. Savonos, you're not gonna be quiet this afternoon, I hope. Okay, thank you, Dr. Tai. Okay. Y'all got a pen? You ready to sign your name? This is a weighty moment. President Cole would like to make a quick announcement, please. Next week is Dr. Savarnos' birthday. I think we have to all wish him happy birthday. Oh, we're gonna happy sing. Birthday. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, we've heard some really inspiring speeches from alumni at Queensboro, and I just want to again remind you that someday I expect to see everybody's picture up there. That's your homework. So for starters, I would like you to pledge. Repeat after me. I am a CUNY Queensboro Community College student. I am a CUNY Queensboro Community College student. And I am committed. I am committed to completing my associate's degree. Completing my associate's degree. Or certificate program. Or certificate program. I will also seek out advisement. I will also seek out advisement. On course selection. Course career, planning, career planning and support services, and support services that, will help me reach my goal. that will help me reach my goal. Okay, sign your name. Everybody have a pen? Does anybody need a pen? Do you have an extra pen? Do our alumni have extra pens? And you need to sign your email address because you know what they say, we will miss you someday, but we miss nobody, particularly at the Alumni Association. And please write your student ID. That's how we'll keep track of the fact that you've committed to completion.
Remember, everybody in this room is here to help you meet your, your goals for the future. And this is your first step. Congratulations to all of you. Uh, first of all, thank you, uh, President Cole, for uh, the good wishes, but when your age hits a three-digit number, we don't celebrate it. Yeah. Um, I'm very happy that the, we are progressing in this uh, project of basically getting more and more people committed to sign uh, uh, their, their intention to um, graduate from Queensboro. Uh, I actually had a lecture this morning and some of the kids are here and I told them, suppose say uh, you have two people uh, applying for a job and someone has 119 credits from Harvard and someone has a degree from Queensboro, who has the highest credentials? And they started saying Harvard. I said, no, no, 119 is not equal to 120. Maybe in math it's approximately equal to 120, but it's not the truth. So in because when you have 119 credits at Harvard, they don't know whether you got kicked out of the school or you had a GPA of 1.99 that was not good enough for you to graduate. But when you have your two-year degree, that's good enough. So this is the first step in your education. I always tell people in America, nobody cares where you come from. Everybody wants to see what you achieve. So I do hope that you join the group up there. I was very happy, as you notice, uh, the majority of the kids that I have, they don't escape from me, I'm after them. Uh, even though um, they are, uh, I, I haven't seen them for maybe 20 or 25 years. Some of these kids were GEDs. Some of these kids started with Math 5 and ended up being doctors and professors. Um, I hope none of you becomes a uh, chemistry professor. I, job so I need job security. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like you to think and believe always that Queensboro is a special place. I worked with Vice, with a, uh, Vice President Hardigan for a while and uh, with President Cole since uh, 1981, that was back in the 20th century. And um, we've been working for a very long time over different projects. And I remember how Queensboro was uh, back uh, in, in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. And to a great extent, this is because of you. Um, I do hope that you continue uh, with the services that we have, which are many, tutoring, um, uh, C-STEP, every other, there are so many of them, I, I can't catch up with them anymore. But you do have to make sure that you keep up with, uh, with the material that you have. Do not wait for the last minute to study. Um, the great advantage that you have over here, and this is why I chose this place. I had offers, and I'm not bragging here, I had offers from um, University of Delaware and Michigan State, and I chose Queensboro. And the reason why I chose Queensboro is because the community college represents what America is about. And again, as I said, nobody cares where you come from. Everybody wants to see what you achieve. And so therefore, you must understand that in, in the classes that we have here, we have very, very small classes. Yes, occasionally we have maybe a classes of 50 and 60 and 70. But you go to, to four-year colleges, the big four-year colleges, and you take the freshman and sophomore classes there, and you're the last four digits of your social security number. Uh, recently, I had a student of mine who's at University of Southern California, and she took organic chemistry too with us, and she told me that she did a mistake, she didn't take it here. And the reason why she said so was because in, in, when she was taking organic chemistry too over there, she was basically sitting in an amphitheater, very much like mini Madison Square Garden, Everything was coming on a rotating screen. So if she missed it, she missed the chance to take the notes. So I ask you to please consider very seriously about graduating. I do not make a commission on how many people graduate, but I do want our kids 
to do well, and I want to add more and more of you join the group. Thank you. So this concludes the formal portion of our program, but before we do break and attend our reception, any questions any of you in the audience may have of our panelists? Or of Dr. Cervonas or Dr. Tai? Don't ask them what's gonna be on the next exam. They won't answer those questions. <laughs> Somebody, yes? Okay, I would ask, since you did sign those pledge forms, I would ask everybody in attendance if you could leave from this door here so we can collect the forms as you leave. We also have a reception outside, and also students especially. Make sure there's a banner we have that we're asking everyone who attended today's event to please sign the banner. So we'll have this forever, and we're gonna hang it up year after year after year. And again, we have refreshments for you. We have representatives from some support programs, especially Single Stop is represented here uh, this afternoon. I want to thank all of our panelists. I certainly want to thank Dr. Call for uh, attending and staying at today's event since her schedule, believe me, is crazy. And I certainly want to thank Dr. Savonis and Dr. Tai. And this was a wonderful event, and it makes us all understand and recognize why we come to work day in and day out for such a wonderful reason. And I thank all of you, and I wish you all the best with the remainder of this semester. Thank you.